Hi, Dean Wright. I would like to request the leave of absence. Hi, David. Yeah, so, you know, one important thing to remember when you're taking a leave from the college is that you will lose access to all of your Harvard resources until you let us know that you want to re-enroll. Is that something that you're okay with? Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, great, done. And just like that, I am no longer enrolled as a Harvard student. I hope you guys enjoyed that first little short segment with Dean Wright. Huge thank you to her. She is my actual dean. For those who are new here, hi, my name is David, and I am a, or I guess I was, a rising sophomore at Harvard College. I'm a native from Montreal, Canada. This year, I've decided to leave Harvard College for the time being to pursue something that I've been wanting to do for a really, 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 really long time. But first, the reason why I am leaving Harvard in the first place, the mismanagement of the public health crisis in the United States, the current political and social crisis in the United States, the fact that the U.S. banned international students from coming to back to the United States, but then letting them come, but the borders are still closed and Harvard only wants freshmen and senior on campus. And so if I were to enroll as a student, it would still be for an entire year of virtual classes. So a lot of things just at the end didn't add up for me. And it didn't make sense at all, at least for me, to enroll for classes this year. And so now that I'm not a student anymore, I'm really, really excited to be announcing that I finally have the opportunity to do something so meaningful that I, again, have been dreaming of doing for such a long time. That is rediscovering my own home country with my good friend Guillaume by traveling across Canada and producing an entire photography and film series from one coast to the other in collaboration with Destination Canada. But before I continue diving into the exciting stuff, I really want to preface this video by emphasizing that this announcement is by no means, especially in the current 2020 pandemic, a call for people to start traveling the world recklessly. In fact, for one, Guillaume and I will be practicing the highest level of safety precautions. Masks, Purell, social distancing, avoiding high risk areas and high crowd spaces. There's a reason why we are traveling locally within our own country. <laughs> I don't want to go to the U.S. right now. But yes, it's important to be mindful of everyone's situation. This is a great opportunity for you to rediscover your own local neighborhood, city, or even country like us if the situation allows you to do so. <coughs> U.S. With that being said, this is so exciting! Despite being a Canadian and having lived here for the 99% of my life, I have not seen like 99% of Canada. So the goal of this project is really to first inspire my fellow Canadians to take a look and rediscover their own backyards. And two, to inspire my fellow international friends that Canada is a kick-ass destination. And lastly, I want to inspire everyone and share with everyone that you don't need to take the common path. You don't need to stick to your four years of college. If things don't work out, don't be afraid to carve your own path and deviate from the traditional route. So as part of this project, I will be producing regular updates in the forms of photos, videos, vlogs, as well as a final film, which I will be releasing at the end of my trip. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but the film will be something around discovering Canada. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because you do not, do not want to miss a single minute of this entire journey. I will also be posting pictures over on my Instagram where I put my travel pics. Feel free to send me a DM over there. Anyway, I will be leaving Montreal on September 1st, which is literally in like three or four days, and then arriving in Vancouver around mid, mid to late October. Lastly, for every like on this video, I will be dancing to the travel gods for a hasty return of all our lost travel plans. I know, unfortunately, not everyone has the opportunity to travel this year, so I'm really hoping that my project can inspire some of you for 2021 and also serve as a medium for a vicarious virtual travel experience for you. So if you're excited as much as I am, it would help tremendously if you can help spread this message by sharing this video to friends, family, cats, dogs, parrots. With that being said, I, David Chow, 
really need to start packing. <laughs>